Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Safe and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make the fist out of Bardeen. So let's get it started. First of all you need to click on this button because Bardeen is literally an extension that you need to add to your own Google Chrome or whatever browser you are using. So now I'm going to press on add to Chrome because in this tutorial I'm using Google Chrome as my own browser and I'm going to press on add extension then I will wait for it to load. Now it's loading and I will just wait for it for a couple of seconds. And now it's ready. Now I'm going to sign in with my own Google account. And here we are. So basically you have many uses that you can use per deal for. I'm going to press on launch Bardeen now to explore these features. And now I'm going to press on done. I'm just going to select all, confirm. I'm going to wait for the apps that I can use with Bardeen to load. And here we are. So basically I will choose here you can choose more apps if you want. You can choose any of them. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to go with Google Sheets and Google Mail. This is sufficient to me. Now let's go next. So here we can start using Bardeen. I will start using Bardeen to create automations because it's the major feature or the most important feature that we can use Bardeen for. This can be done by going to create here. There are majorly two types of automations in Bardeen. The, the automations which will be activated once a specific date scheduled is it happens or comes. And the second one is when once a specific trigger happens. So we will try to activate both of them with a single idea for both and we will see and test how it works. Now let's go with the first option which is a schedule. So here I am giving an order once a specific time happens or once a specific date happens, a specific event will, will be automatically applied. So basically I will start this, this time from now. So this is my time. So once now happens, which is basically now, a specific event will happen. So I will I can also repeat the frequency. So I will choose to repeat it. For example, weekly. So in this case, I'm for example having a project and I want to follow up with my coworker or, or with my or with my teammate on a daily basis without actually having to follow up with him. That's what I'm trying to intention intentionally do now. So now I started this trigger from now and I chose to repeat let's make it daily every seven days and I'm gonna make it stop after sorry sorry I'll make this every one day and I will make this stop after seven times so basically after a single week it will stop Okay, so once this happens, which is now, starting from now, repeating every day and stopping after seven iterations, I want you to do a new action. This action is to send an email. Now I will need to connect my Gmail first. I, I'm going to authenticate with Google and I will be back for you soon. Now, after successfully connected my, connecting my Gmail, I can go and choose a new action. And this action is to send email. Now, I will have to decide where will this email be sent. So, I will choose another email here. Let's say this is my coworker email. Okay, and I will 
write the subject as project then I will insert the body as can you no no not the copying not the CC now I will insert the, the body as can you tell me the updates and I will press done so basically this is my automation once now happens which is now it will repeat every day stopping after seven days which is seven iterations and you the, the action that will happen is that you will send an email to this mail with a subject project and body can you tell me the updates now let's press on done and see if it works so i will name this automation as project and i will save it now it's not done yet you need also to do a small step which is to activate this automation once you do so it will take some time to load and we will check on the other mail if it receives the email that we want it still loading and done now let's go to our email or to our worker or teammate email and we will check now this is the email and here i have received can you tell me the update so it actually works now let's try the other type of automation so let's press on create and try now when actually something happens not when a specific time occurs so let's go with when something happens and for example let's say i want i have this spreadsheet which contains student names and i'm a teacher and i want to get notified whenever any student is added to this sheet this is what i'm intending to do so so i will go to uh, Berdeen and i will choose the trigger is when um i will search for google sheets and i will search in when because if i searched for add or update this is actually an action and not a trigger so i'm gonna scroll down and choose when row is added to or changed in google sheet now i need also to connect to my google sheets so that it will work so in just seconds i will connect to my google sheets and i will be back for you now after connecting i will repeat the previous steps so i will search for my trigger um, i i will choose when something happens i will search for google sheets and i will search for when row is added to or changed in google sheet and i will choose the google sheet as the copy of example spreadsheet now I'm going to press on the plus sign to choose an action which will happen and I will need to send an email and the recipient will be me so I will insert my email so that I will get notified from myself that there is someone who has been added to my spreadsheet and the subject new student then we will insert a body a new student has been added now let's press on done so our automation is now ready i can press on done i can name it new students and again i will need to enable the automation first almost there let's just give it a couple of seconds and done so now let's go to our spreadsheet and let's go down and let's add someone who is called Jade now let's go to our other email because this is our coworker email i will go to the main email that i have signed as a recipient and i will check if i i received this email due to adding a new student and now let's check let's just refresh and bingo you have received the email a new student has been added so actually it works 
perfectly and it, it, it's 100% working. You can perform the automation to, to anything you want. You can just go to create here and you can go to your apps. You can go to this plus sign to integrate with any app you want and you can do your uh, job smoothly between different apps and you can do automations that 100% work. So this is how easy you can use Pardeen. That's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you like this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.